Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug, covering any and all. I would call these comparison operator modifiers. And what they allow you to do is take a comparison operator, like a less than sign, and instead of just comparing a single value on the left to a single value on the right, you're able to compare a single value on the left to a column of values on the right. So in order to, to show you clearly what's going on, I'm going to use a little, a uh, couple of little tricks. And here what I'm doing is I'm displaying a record when the where expression evaluates to true and when the where expression evaluates to false, I'm not showing a record. So it's just a, a way of testing logical expressions. And then another little trick is that I'm going to create a table that only exists within this, in the scope of my select statement. So I would call this a literal table in that I am literally providing the table inside of my statement. The syntax is values and um, each record is separated with parentheses and commas in the records. And in this case, I only have one value per record. So this shows up as a column uh, uh, single column three row table called temp table with a field called temp field. So I'm going to do uh, start with the in statement because this is really similar. Uh, in, in allows you to compare a single value here to a column of values over here and it compares them in an equality sense. So when I run 12 in uh, a column of 11, 12, and 7, uh, it tests to see if it finds that value. Another way to think of this is that it's going to say, is 12 equal to 11? No. Okay, well then is 12 equal to 12? Yes, and then it'll stop. So it does the classic uh, performance technique of short-circuiting the logic. As soon as it finds one value, it stops looking. And even if I had a billion extra values uh, in this column, it would stop because it found one that was equal. Now, this is the gist of the any operator, and I can exactly rephrase in as equal any. So here it's going to say, is 12 equal to 11? No. Is 12 equal to 12? Yes. Again, it will stop. The difference is that in is always equal. But I can take this operator and change it to any of the other comparison operators. I could say uh, not equal. I could say greater than or equal. And it will use this comparison operator as it evaluates each, um, each item in the column. So I'm going to go back and step back a little bit and say, well, is... Uh, as an example here of a single value to value comparison is 10 greater than 11 and um, when I'm comparing a single scalar this is how it looks if I want to compare multiple scalar values then I would need to combine these with ors and this is the equivalent of saying is any of these are any of these true and so that expression there is equivalent to what we've been doing uh, the example I showed there is that if I have any of these greater than, I could have any in this way. And this is convenient because if we're working in a database, it's unlikely that we're going to have these values uh, independent somehow, uh, not in a table. It's more likely that the 11, 12, and 7 will be coming from some other table via a select statement. So I can dynamically create the list of values or the single column multi-row table to use with the any statement rather than needing to separate out every individual value like we've done here. So I can also do this in an AND manner. So I could say is 10 greater than 11. And in this case, what I'd like to see is, is 10 greater than 11 than all the values in the column. So here again, I've got three logical expressions. They're ANDed together. In other words, all of them must be true in order for the whole expression to evaluate to true. So I can do this. Um, uh, and notice this reevaluates to false, but if I 
make all the values le less than 10, I can make it turn into a, a true statement. So again, I'll demonstrate that with a greater than all. Notice that it's false because it's not greater than all of them. It's only greater than one of them. And I can do the same thing with 9, 8, and 7. And in this case, it is greater than all of those. So again, you can think of this uh, any and all. They come right after a comparison operator. And it could be any of these comparison operators. Again, just saying it in another way, uh, I've got single value, comparison operator, any or all, and a column of values. So let's use a more concrete example. Um, suppose I have a, a list of customers and orders, and I have freight on the orders. And what I'd like to do is, is create a list of customers who paid $200 or more on freight, or more than $200, in 1996. So think of it as $200 is, uh, excuse me, less than any of the orders in 1996, right? So it doesn't, it just has to, uh, there has to be at least one order that's greater than 200. And here is the phrasing of it. This subquery is a correlated subquery for that customer and it will generate within 1996 all the freight values. So it's a single value, uh, single column, multi-row. Uh, I don't really even know how many orders there are for that customer and it will change from customer to customer. So I will generate a different list of values for each customer and the 200 will be compared against any of them and I can get a list, there's seven of them, seven customers who paid more than $200 on at least one order for um, uh, 1996. So I can do this similar statement using distinct and uh, just a kind of a rephrasing and having the join exist in the uh, the outer query, but I get the same um, set of things, set of uh, customers. So is there a difference? Why, why would you do one and not the other? Would you rather uh, use this phrasing or using the any phrasing? Um, I think there is a difference, uh, mainly in that this is actually going to uh, evaluate and do the join and evaluate every freight and find um, you know, multiple orders. So let's say that this customer placed 100 orders where it was greater than 200. We're going to generate all 100 of them and then distinct them back to a single value. Um, whereas this is, as soon as it finds one order, it will just save the company name. So, so partly, um, you know, depending on your situation, um, one SQL phrasing might be clearer than another. Uh, in some sense, this might be a clearer phrasing so that others could read my code or I could read my code uh, more clearly and spot bugs and you know, uh, maintain the code easier. But it might be that I could uh, generate a faster query plan by rephrasing it with the any clause and letting it uh, do the short circuit logic uh, that's the that's possible. So um, I should just say that, that just depending on your situation, your data model, the volumes, data volume, the data statistics, what indexes you have, one might be faster than the other. And in general, I recommend writing SQL in the clearest way possible. And then if you uh, are tuning and convince yourself that you will get better performance uh, with perhaps a less clear phrasing, then uh, you do that carefully. In summary, any and all are mo they modify the comparison operators and they succinctly, in a, in a short uh, syntax, compare a single scalar to a column of scalars. Thanks for watching.